Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Maquette. This time I'm going to take you through the level, the Spiral. We're also going to receive the bonus trophy in this level, Riding the Spiral, which we receive for completing the level in under 6 minutes and 40 seconds. So starting off, we're just going to walk through this tunnel, and we're just going to follow the path straight away. No real deviations at all, starting here. The orb breaks, so we're never going to use that. There is a bonus trophy that you can receive called Into the Darkness if you just jump off this ledge. Uh, you won't die, you'll respawn right at the ledge that you jumped off of, uh, but you'll get a bonus trophy for that. So we're going to keep following the path, and then we need to uh, solve a pretty interesting puzzle here, uh, having to deal with some levers as well as the bridge part. It has a lot to do with perspective. So as we come up here, we're going to see a bridge that we can walk towards. And at the end of this bridge, there is going to be a lever for us to hit. And then that will create the next section of the bridge. But you should watch closely because the platforms that are floating in the air are mirror images of the platform that you're on. So hitting this will create a bridge here, but then it will also create bridges in the sky. It's just an interesting little art note. It's nothing to really write home about as far as like gameplay mechanic. Yeah, I just thought it looked really sick. So hitting this second lever, we're going to turn right and come down here, and we've got to do two things on this platform. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to solve the puzzle, which involves a bridge piece. So it's on this little pedestal right here. So take this, and then press circle, rotate it a couple times until it aligns, and then you want to just line it up right here, and the game will take over. There is a mini, mini switch on that final platform there. You want to hit that to draw the rest of the bridge really hard to see but if you just sort of mouse over it a little bit the game will sort of lock on to the position and then you just press square and it, it activates the switch okay so that's going to be it for this first intro section and we're going to get to one of the toughest puzzles in the game which is the pillar puzzle and it's an easy solution but my girlfriend and i had to work on it for quite a while before she figured it out um so we're going to head inside here this level, at least in the beginning, is just a lot of walking, and then once you get past this section, the puzzles start to come a lot faster. I wish this chandelier was part of a puzzle. It's just a, a sort of like a motif, but yeah. Anyway, walking inside, we are no longer just floating in the void of space. So we can turn left, go up this staircase, turn right, and then right again to the pillar puzzle. So what we need to do with these three pillars is make a Z. So you want to rotate it, and then you want to have the end of the pillar falling off. This way it goes into the floor. And then do the same thing here, just above it, and then use the third pillar piece and make a Z by connecting the two ends. So they should just all be on top of each other. Or this one should be on top of the other two, I should say. So once that's done, the pillars will now be out here, and you can just walk up them like ramps. didn't tell me. All right, cool, so just jump up, and then that is the ramp pillar puzzle. Turning left, there is a key puzzle that we have to solve. Really interesting. So we're gonna come in here, and we're gonna pick the key out of this little pit. This key corresponds to the big one in the other room. Then we're gonna drop it here, but we need to make a ramp just like this. Let's so go ahead and drop it. Head back outside into the bigger room, and now this giant key is a ramp. So we're gonna come through here, and then there's another key that we can pick up, and this key will unlock the door. All right, let's come through here. And then we can open this door just like that. Cool. So this next puzzle is probably one of the most interesting ones, I think. Uh, it takes a little while to get to. So what I recommend doing with this puzzle is just sort of pausing on the screen where I'm placing the puzzle pieces. This way you know where to put it. And it's going to take a little bit of practice to get this timer trophy. Uh, but this is the way to do it. So you want to come to the left, pick up this puzzle piece, and then we're going to rotate it so the little uh, bridge section touches this small block. And then we're going to pick up the one on the right and sort of do the same thing. You want the little castle section to touch the house on the right just like that. You want to slot it here. These correspond to this area here where they drop into, and then they also correspond to the next section, this one, 
where the left board rotates 90 degrees to the right and the right board rotates 90 degrees to the left. So you gotta connect them still. And then you can jump in here. And then once you touch the crystal, the level is over. So just hold circle to skip the cutscene and you will get the riding the spiral trophy for having completed the stage in under six minutes and 40 seconds. And that's it. If you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. I'll do my best to help you out. If you're looking for more guides from Maquette, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new guides go live. If you're interested in supporting the channel monetarily, please consider becoming a channel member by clicking the blue join button below this video. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and on Twitch. And as always, I'll be Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.